In this video, I'm going to explain how to add a link from your current web page to another page. Uh, the link tag is the A tag, A for anchor. And notice it has the angle bracket around the A. It does have a closing this time. So you'll have an A open and then an A close with some text in between that is the linkable text. So you may uh, include something like click here. Um, the attribute, just like in the image tag, the attribute is extremely important. It defines the URL that we're going to link to. The attribute to do that is href, hypertext ref. So take a look uh, at my code. And in this case, uh, I'm working on the same file as I did in, a, in one of my previous videos um, with the buffalo.jpg image. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and find the Buffalo, New York homepage. Okay. And so what you'll notice is a couple of things. This is the address bar up here that has the URL. Remember, the URL is a unique address for every web page. Notice the lock here. That implies that it is a secured website. So this would put the HTTPS prefix, okay? Uh, and notice you don't see that when you look up here. So click here, it highlights the website for you and copy it, okay? So when you go back to your code, we're gonna just paste it right in. So I'm gonna do that before the image, because if you recall, this was a rather large image. So right here, after my P tag, I'm going to line 17. I'm gonna have an A with the HREF, set equal to, open double quotes, and here I'm just gonna paste uh, that URL. And notice what comes in, right? The HTTPS colon forward forward slash www dot, and then the URL that we saw. So this is exactly the syntax you need. So it's easiest to just copy paste. Now finish your tag. So close the angle bracket, put some text, and then put your closing tag. Okay, now since I put this right before the image, it's going, going to not appear very nice. It's gonna be one on top of the other. So I'm gonna add in a break, a line break. To do that, it's angle bracket, BR, close your angle bracket. Okay, and I'm gonna put a couple of those and those create simply line breaks. Okay, now normally I would say click run in the center of your screen, but it, again, it's not gonna um, appear correctly and it's not gonna connect. So go ahead and do the open in new tab. That's all the way off to the right hand side, excuse me, of your screen. Okay, and now you can see the click here. Notice that it looks like a link. And when I hover my mouse over it, I have the pointing finger there. So click to confirm that it works correctly.